Ever wondered if your cat is trying to tell you something? Well, buckle up because we're about to embark on a fascinating journey into the world of feline communication. It's time to decode those mysterious purrs, needs, and slow blinks. Let's start with the famous slow blink. In the world of cats, this is the equivalent of blowing a kiss. When your cat looks at you and slowly closes its eyes, it's a sign of trust and affection. So the next time your cat gives you a slow blink, don't forget to blink back, it's like returning a kiss. Moving on to another charming feline behavior. Have you ever noticed your cat kneading a rhythmic pushing and pulling motion with their paws? This adorable behavior is not just a way for your cat to make a comfy spot to nap, oh no, it's a sign that your cat is feeling content and secure. When your cat needs on you, it's a big thumbs up, a sign that your cat feels safe and loved in your presence. Now let's talk about purring. There's nothing quite like the soothing sound of a purring cat. While cats do purr when they're happy, it's not always a sign of contentment. Cats might also purr when they're anxious or unwell. It's a way for them to comfort themselves. But if your cat is purring while curled up in your lap, it's a good bet they're expressing their love and satisfaction. Don't forget about the tail. A cat's tail is like a mood barometer. When your cat's tail is held high with a slight curl at the end, it's a sign of happiness and affection. If your cat approaches you with its tail in this position, it's a clear sign they're happy to see you. So keep an eye out for these subtle signs of affection. Your cat might be saying, I love you, more often than you think. By understanding their unique language, you're taking the first step towards a deeper, more fulfilling bond with your feline friend. After all, when it comes to love, sometimes actions speak louder than meows. Let's dive into the fascinating world of feline behavior. Understanding your cat's behavior is akin to learning a new language. It's full of subtleties and nuances that might take some time to grasp. But once you do, it's like holding a key to your cat's heart. Two of the most expressive parts of a cat are its tail and ears, almost like a mood barometer, revealing what's going on inside their mind. A cat's tail is a storyteller. When it's standing straight up, it's a sign of happiness and confidence, a kind of kitty salute to you. If it's puffed up, it means your cat is scared or agitated. And a tail that's whipping back and forth, that's a clear signal your feline friend is annoyed. Responding appropriately to these signals can help build trust. For instance, giving them space when their tail is puffed up can show that you respect their feelings. Now let's talk about the ears. When a cat's ears are upright and facing forward, it indicates interest or happiness. But if they're flattened against their head, it's a sign of fear or aggression. Again, understanding these signals and responding with sensitivity can help strengthen your bond. Remember, cats are not one size fits all. Each cat is unique with its own set of behaviors and quirks. It's like piecing together a puzzle, and the joy is in the journey of discovery. With patience and observation, you'll begin to understand your cat's language. However, it's not just about understanding their behavior, but also about how you respond. Responding with care and respect to your cat's emotions can make them feel understood and loved. So if your cat is showing signs of fear or agitation, give them space. If they're happy and confident, engage them in play. It's about respecting their feelings and making them feel safe and loved. Remember, your cat's behavior is a window into their feelings. Respond with care and sensitivity, and you're well on your way to being their favorite human. Playtime isn't just fun and games, it's a crucial bonding time for you and your cat. Engaging your feline friend in interactive play is a surefire way to build trust and deepen your bond. Think about it. When we play, we let our guards down. We open ourselves up to trust and connection. The same holds true for your cat. Playtime is when your cat can let loose and express its natural instincts, all while feeling safe and secure with you. Interactive toys are a fantastic tool for this. Toys that mimic the movement of prey, such as feather wands or laser pointers, tap into your cat's hunting instincts. This not only keeps them physically active but mentally stimulated as well. And the best part? It's you on the other end of that toy reinforcing your role as a trusted partner in their playful pursuits. But let's not forget about the magic of treats. Cats are, after all, creatures of incentive. The right treat can make your cat come running every time you shake the bag. The key here is finding a treat that your cat loves, but also one that contributes to their overall health. It's like saying I love you in a language your cat understands, the language of delicious rewards. There's a world of treats out there for you to explore with your cat. From crunchy treats that promote dental health, to soft, savory morsels that make for a delightful surprise. And remember, treats aren't just for rewarding good behavior. They can also be a tool for bonding. 
Imagine sharing a quiet moment with your cat, a treat in your hand, and a purr of contentment from your feline friend. It's these moments of shared enjoyment that make your bond unbreakable. So let's review. Interactive play and treats are not just about fun, they are about building trust, expressing love and strengthening the bond between you and your cat. It's about understanding your cat's instincts and needs and showing them that you care in a way they understand. So shake that bag of treats and get ready for some fun, your cat will adore you for it. A happy cat is a cat that feels safe and comfortable. Think about this for a moment, if we feel secure and at ease in our environment, we're likely to be happier, right? The same applies to our feline friends. Creating a comfort zone for your cat is crucial in fostering a strong bond of love and trust. So, how do we go about this? Well, cats are creatures of habit and comfort. They love having their own dedicated spaces. These can be high perches for them to survey their kingdom or cozy corners where they can curl up for a nap. Consider investing in a cat tree or a window perch. Cats adore having an elevated vantage point from where they can observe their surroundings. But it's not all about the high places. Cats also need their cozy hideaways. These can be as simple as a cardboard box or a specially designed cat cave. You'd be surprised how much your cat will love having a place to retreat to when they need some alone time. Remember, respecting their need for solitude is a significant step in building trust. Now let's talk about their favorite lounging spots. Cats are drawn to warmth and light, that's why you often find them stretched out in a sunny spot or snuggled up to a warm radiator. Try to provide these options in your home. A soft blanket in a sunlit window can quickly become their favorite afternoon nap spot. And what about their favorite toys and scratching posts? These items are essential for a cat's well-being. A scratching post allows them to stretch and sharpen their claws, while toys can provide mental stimulation and exercise. The key is to observe your cat and understand what makes them comfortable. Tailor their environment to their preferences. It's a process of trial and error, but the result is well worth the effort. Remember, when your cat feels safe, they're more likely to show you their love. So make your home their sanctuary. The love and trust you'll gain from your cat in return will be immeasurable. Isn't that what we all want? To be loved and trusted by our feline companions? Grooming is more than just keeping your cat clean. It's a powerful bonding experience. Now let's delve into the world of grooming and patience that plays a significant role in forming a bond with your feline friend. Cats are known for their meticulous grooming habits. They spend a significant part of their day cleaning themselves. But sometimes, they need a little help from you. And guess what? This can be a golden opportunity to deepen your bond. When you take part in your cat's grooming routine, you're showing them that you care about their well-being, and this can make them feel safe and loved. Grooming is not just about brushing, though that's a critical part. Brushing your cat not only keeps their fur clean and shiny, but also helps distribute the natural oils on their skin, promoting healthier fur. Plus, it's an excellent way to check for any unusual bumps or lumps that might require a vet's attention. But remember, not all cats enjoy being brushed right away, so start slowly. Let them sniff the brush, get used to it, then gradually start brushing them, and always be gentle. Over time, your cat might even start looking forward to these grooming sessions. Now, let's talk about patience. Building trust and affection with a cat is not an overnight process. Cats are independent creatures and they need their space. They might not always want to cuddle or play, and that's okay. It's crucial to respect their boundaries and give them the space they need. Remember, patience is the key. The more patient you are, the more your cat will learn to trust you. It's all about understanding your cat's unique personality and adapting to their needs. So don't rush things. Take your time to understand your cat, show them love and patience, and the bond between you will only grow stronger. In the end, it's all about showing your cat that you're there for them. Through the fun play sessions, the cozy comfort zones, the tasty treats, and the gentle grooming sessions. So take your time, be patient, and show your cat you care. The love you receive in return will be worth it.